Jefferson coming to you guys with a Kobe 7 video. I know you guys have been waiting on it, so let's get to it. We got the Nike Zoom Kobe 7 Supreme, all right, and in size 9, and this is, of course, the box, all right? Very nice looking box. We got the Watch Zoko logo. We got the Kobe 7 system brand right there, Nike Swoosh logo. Open the box, paper, usual stuff, and it also comes with this little uh, insole box casing or whatever you guys want to call it. It shows you how to like remove the insoles. Use our attack fast insoles and attack strong. And inside here, you got the attack fast midsoles. And also here are the attack strong insoles with a sleeve and everything, which I'll get to this in a minute. On the outsole, we have the herringbone, which is back, which I am totally for. You guys already know I'm a big fan of herringbone, and um, I'm glad that they brought it back. They probably watch my videos and listen to me. I don't know. I guess a third of it is herringbone, I guess. Um, and also on the rest of the shoe is just this little geometric, uh, these little triangles. Uh, we also have a little carbon fiber glass sh shank right there for the midfoot. And uh, Retrozoka logo, you know, very simple. It reminds me of the uh, Kobe 1s. Got this little uh, separation of the outsole, which is pretty cool. Got the little similarities, of course, from the past Kobe series. And another thing that's inspired by the Kobe 1 is this midsole right here. It's very thick, just like the Kobe 1s. You see this, how thick it is? Well, it kind of looks like this, isn't it? Very geometric, very triangular shape. And also on the outrigger has this little Kobe code right here, which I think yeah, I'm assuming is a Predator. Right? We got this little Volt, lime green Volt color on the midsole along with Violet. All right. Uh, and on the toe, of course, has a swoosh and KB24 right there on the toe box. And on the heel has a cheetah right there. Nice little um, little texture as well. We got the Kobe signature in red and has a little green. Uh, speckles on the, on it. On the upper is actually quite interesting. Um, I've, I've seen it since uh, the first images or the news leaked out. Uh, it was pretty cool to just see it, you know, evolve from the um, the samples and to what it is now, you know. So uh, so yeah, the upper on this shoe is pretty much a shell casing, a little plastic shell casing. We got fly wire strands throughout the shoe. We got six little uh, eye stays right here. And the fly wire just runs up and down, up and down throughout the whole upper. Okay, we got the green swoosh. All right, and uh, the shell casing, you know, is pretty much very flexible, somewhat. You know, not as flexible as the uh, Kobe sixes and the Kobe fives, but hey, whatever, it works. The laces on these, of course, are red with uh, green tips. Okay. Now the ankle area around the Kobe 7 is very thickly padded, just like how it is on the Kobe 4s. I really like how it is. Um, seems to be very narrow, you know, put your foot in here, your heel, heel cup should lock it in place. That's what it's for. Alright, so that's pretty much the general info on the shoe itself. You, they, they did a really nice job, you know, creating the whole silhouette of the Kobe 7. You know, the shoe is very flexible, you know, but this is without no midsole. Now, speaking of midsoles, let me move on to midsole part which is the main part of this year's uh, little theme of the Kobe 7 system. Of course, right. these are the uh, Play Fast midsoles with the Zoom Air on the heel, which is uh, pretty cool. You can see the bag. Very responsive. It's supposed to keep you low to the ground and very cushioned. And, and also, it has um, Zoom Air in the forefoot. All right. And you guys can see the Zoom bag right there. You know, whatever. There's also been a lot of complaints about that this is coming off, the insole part is coming off while doing playing basketball and I have seen pictures you know people be playing in them and then this thing just comes off well you could probably just glue it back on but if you don't want to do that then that's a big problem with this uh, shoe right here just this insole comes off which is you know I haven't experienced it yet no big deal so it has this little neoprene little sleeve with a green, uh, little green Shizoko logo right there nice leather feel okay the good thing about these is that uh you know the zoom air is actually uh full zoom air in the fourth foot just like the lebron postseason sevens uh the kobe sixes fives and fours i believe it's a met bag which is only part it is only this covering your uh ball of your feet so the three fours fives and sixes they only have a met head bag which is partial you know this one has the whole full zoom air unit covering the whole forefoot so that's pretty cool i actually like the full zoom bag all right, now on the other insole, which is these, uh, the Play Strong, which is super comfortable when playing in, uh, and also of course has a strap to it. 
It goes around your ankle. Just put your foot in here. Wrap it around like that. And you look like Goku from uh, Dragon Ball. It is a little gimmicky, you know, gotta add, but hey, if you're Nike, you're trying to do something different. For me, it doesn't really give me that much of a difference. I mean, your ankle is still moving. It just gives you that confidence in yourself. It's more of a mentality than uh, it is actually a functionality. Kind of like a uh, shooting sleeve. I don't know if you guys worn a shooting sleeve in, in basketball. You know, it compresses your, your whole elbow and your whole arm. This is pretty much what it does around your ankle. So again, this is not an ankle brace. Everybody who thought it was an ankle brace, it is not an ankle brace, unfortunately. Um, but this is more of a compression. gives you like a little bit more confidence around your ankles when you're playing in them. And of course, if you want to call it a mid-top, even though it's not a mid top, you guys could say that too. So, anyways, so this is the Play Strong insoles. Really like it. And uh, now, since you put them in, how do you take it out, right? A lot of people have been asking about it, and it's so hard to take out. It's pretty easy, very simple. Check it out. This is what I used to do, which I don't recommend anymore. This is just pulling it out like this. Bad idea, because this thing could rip. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. It just could just rip probably, you know, it's just only a little bit of stitching right there. So an easier way, a safer way to not damage your insoles or your shoe, go from the inside, okay, and just grab it under, all right, like this, and just pull it off, okay? Very easy. I'll do it again. Get it from the inside like this, grab it under, and just pull, and it comes right off. See? Oh, sh ain't nothing hard to do. Alright, so now the question is, which one would I rather play in? The play fast midsoles or the play strong insoles? It uh, really just depends on what you're trying to do. Um, if you're going to play a quick game or, you know, a quick competitive 5-on-5 um, five five or just, you know, a good 3-on-3 three three and just really competitive um, environment, then I would rather go play fast, you know, just because, uh, you know, you got more responsive feel, lower to the ground, you're a little bit more agile, quicker, and uh, just a little bit more serious than something that I'm already used to playing in, which is in Zoom Kobe 6, Zoom Kobe 5, 4, 3s. And uh, so I would just go with the play fast, stick with the zoom. Um, it's just a little bit more traditional, um, and I like it, you know. So I would go for the play fast insoles. But don't count out the play strongs. These are also um, a very nice, comfortable cushioning uh, midsole and uh, option for y'all. And uh, I'd only play in these um, if I were to just shoot around, play, play uh, or play a quick game of 21, you know, two on two, whatever. But nothing too serious or anything. Um, of course, that uh, I really don't like the fact that when I'm playing them, it just comes right off. This thing just comes off and I have to adjust it again and strap it on again over and over. And it just, it just becomes a little bit more tedious uh, during play. So that's the play strong. Again, it feels very nice on your feet. If you rebound a lot, I would definitely recommend this. So, um, yeah, so that's the great thing about the Kobe 7 system. You have choices. Uh, it really depends on what you're trying to do again. All right, don't limit yourself on just one midsole. Try to use both of them depending on the situation. And that's all I could really say for this. Here's how they look on feet and how I strap it up, you know, lace them up and whatnot. And uh, give you guys a quick look on how they look on foot. All right. All right, so this is how it looks on feet. Never done this before, but... Uh, I figured you guys want to see how they look. I'm strapping it up right now, doing the uh, runner's loop on them. All right. If you guys don't know what the runner's loop is, this is a kind of this is a technique that I use. Um, you pretty much leave a uh, strap right here and just tighten it up like this, so that this way your ankle remains in place, does not move around inside the shoe. There's no movement or at all. And, uh, yep, just pull it up like that. So that's the runner's loop. If you guys don't know what the runner's loop is, again, watch my Kobe 6 video. It teaches you there. So this is the uh, play fast insoles. Look, doesn't look that bad, right? It's very nice and sleek. Now on the right foot, I'm going to show you guys my play strong insoles, how it looks like right there. So this is pretty much how it works. What I do, pull it up as much as I can, lace it up around, and you're all ready to go. There you go. And then just tighten it up, like so. And again, you can feel the lace pressure on these, because it's so thin right here when you're um, wearing them, but it's whatever. So this is how it looks like. Play strong, very comfortable, very cushiony. Again, reminds me of the Luna Glides. And uh, here is the uh, play fast midsoles. 
pretty cool because you feel the, the responsiveness of the shoe. So there you have it. On feet look. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, thank you guys for watching uh, this video. Sorry if it was a little bit too long. Please subscribe to my other channel, youtube.com forward slash Jedi Knight. I'll be uploading my first video there. Uh, and the uh, best way to contact me is through Facebook, facebook.com forward slash uh, Jefferson. And my Tumblr is also jefferson.tumblr.com and Twitter forward slash Jefferson. And that's pretty much it. So that's the Kobe 7 for y'all. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this shoe. And, uh, and I'll be copying more colorways of the Kobe 7. And uh, until then, thank you for watching. Take care. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I am out of here.